Are you experiencing headaches at this time? Maybe you know people around you who are experiencing them. Well, I for one, I'm experiencing them and a lot of people around me do so. And this energy update is going to be very different from the previous ones. From any of the energy updates you've heard from other people probably. I am recording the intro often after having recorded the video. I let myself go and I realized why. And so yeah, I encourage you to watch till the end, really the end, to watch the full video. I don't care how long it is. If you have time to watch 10 videos of 60 seconds, you can easily sit with me for 20, 25 minutes and see what I'm sharing, how I'm sharing it, how my energy is fluctuating, how I myself are showing you how the energies from the sun, amongst others, are affecting me. Also, what's happening on the planet at this moment is affecting me. And then I show you how to deal with it and transform it and how you can make things into something nice, something beautiful, something warm, something soothing for you, but also for the people around you. So I really encourage you to sit this one through, to see this one through. And let's dive into this. Like, subscribe, and share. Hi, my name is Lot Fimrat. And this is officially the energy update for October 2024. But I'm going to start with why are you experiencing strong headaches? And maybe you saw the thumbnail already. Yes, our son is having his period. And just like women sometimes have strong headaches, belly pain, a lot of discomfort. Well, now it's a period for our son. And you all know about the cycle of the sun. And we are now in the peak phase of the sun. It's a few years of really the top of that, that wave. And so we've had already quite some energy hitting the earth. And we've seen the effect of it on humanity and also on the weather. And this is not ending yet. So if you're experiencing strong headaches, yes, solar flares are hitting us hard, solar storms. And if you do not know this yet, or maybe you forgot it, but our brains are electrical machines. Our bodies are functioning with electricity. Our cells are working with electricity. So when there's a, long, a strong electromagnetic field hitting us, we will experience things. Hold a strong magnet close to your monitor. You will see what will happen. Well, that is also happening to our bodies, to our cells. Our brain is maybe the most affected by it or the most visibly affected, but other body parts are also being affected. So don't worry about it. So this is out of the way. Now, what are the implications? Many. You have already seen what's happening on our planet when it comes to politics, when it comes to relationships in general between people. And this is going to accelerate, aggravate, going to reach a peak in these, in these conflicts, in these polarities. If you have been paying attention in the last few years, half a decade at least, there has been a lot of polarization happening. There has been a lot of division happening. And this peak is leading us to an extreme, an extreme that will cause a lot of people to wake up, to say, hey, this is not okay. 
this needs to change. And change meaning that we need to start to go from here to here. Start listening to our hearts, start listening to our bodies. I mean, you don't have a choice now. You can try to take medication for your headache, but it will not help. The only thing you can do is listen to your body and do what your body needs. When we do that, we are less likely to get fears triggered in us or to go into fears. We are more likely to become calmer, more loving, more caring. And from that, more and more humans will start to come together. Humans who used to be on two sides of a polarity, where is all this gender stuff that's going on, where is racial, where is religious, political, uh, whatever division there is and has been for a long time and got accentuated now, got even strengthened. That is what's going to break down. People will start to come together and say, hey, why are we fighting each other? We want the same. And we really don't care who's going to be our president or prime minister or whatever, because that's just some asshole who's there for the power. We, the people, we want to have a better life. So we're going to create a better life for ourselves. We don't need politicians telling us anything anymore. We're going to tell our governments what they need to do for us. What we're expecting, what we're paying them for. Because we are paying our bloody governments. And they tell us what to do and they screw up our lives no more. How can you trust people who have always been lying to you? That's why so many lies are being exposed these days. These days alone, these last few weeks alone, so many lies have been exposed. So many truths have been coming to the surface. So many conspiracies are no more theories, but are fact. And that is the transformation period we are in. Whistleblowers are coming out and start to speak, knowing they may be killed by the, by the company or the institution they've been working for. But they don't care anymore. They feel so strongly that the truth needs to be spoken, needs to be shared. The lies need to be broken. And so we will see a lot of agitation in this period. But an agitation of the good coming up and the bad being exposed, the darkness being exposed, the light being shed on the darkness. And that's why those operating in the dark are so scared of the light, are so scared of those others who are not following them anymore, blindly being hypnotized by the media and things like this. Again, a country invaded another country saying, yeah, they're terrorists. But the real reason is they just discovered a huge reserve of natural gas and a huge reserve of sweet water. But the media is not telling you that. But the people living in the country that was invaded are sharing this. We just found this and so our neighbor just invaded us for it. All the wars are about Profit, money, power, natural resources. And when they say it's because of beliefs, ideology, it's a lie. Beliefs and ideology don't make money. Money makes money, resources make money. And power over people makes money. This is why I say all the time, follow the money and then you will know 
where the truth lies. You may not see the full truth, but you will see a big part of it. And more and more of this will come out. So whatever crap and bullshit you're going to see, whatever horror you're going to see in the world unfolding at this moment is just the top layer. It's just this camouflage that is breaking. Cracks are appearing and being teared off and the truth is coming out. And you know that when the truth comes out, it can be really scary at first, but once it's out, it's like, we can breathe again. Because it's out, it's finished. And it's okay to sometimes feel anger and frustration about what's going on. You probably can sense it from me. Because I just heard this afternoon, I mean, a few hours ago, about why this country invaded the other country, the real reason. I knew it was about power, of course, but did not know about the natural resources that had just been discovered. And I happen to know people who have family there who lost their homes and their loved ones. And funny thing is that those who know me for a long time have heard me say things and predict things and always say, ah, that's bullshit, it's not true. It's it's so all these conspiracy theories, you're full of them. <laughs> they all come true. They all have been exposed already. I was surrounded by a lot of sleeping people. And so they hated me when I started to wake up and decided to wake up more. Decided to further discover who I truly am, start to follow my passion. And if you're on this path too, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Whether you have been experiencing it for the last few decades or you start to experience it now. This is happening. For many people it's difficult to accept that they have been living in a world full of lies. Because they did not listen to the inner voices. Or they heard an inner voice and they ignored it. And then of course you have the ego which plays a big role in this. And the ego would prefer the human to die, its host to die, than to have to admit that it was very wrong in certain parts of its life, of its beliefs, of its assumptions. It's the first time, or one of the first times, that I'm recording a video being in this energy. Generally, I'll just let it flow, and then I ground, I meditate, and it's gone again. And it will be. But maybe this is exactly what you need to see and hear me say what I just said, so that you know sirens. This is one of those days. The dog, I had to interrupt the video several times because the dog is being agitated and going around and making noise because his nails are too long on, and it's on a wooden floor. Now this ambulance is going around. Yes, there will be a lot more of distractions and agitations. 
and it's important that we let go. We let go of perfection. No, not of true perfection. Perfectionism. There's a difference. The perfectionist tries to make everything how he believes it has to be. Perfection is things being the way they are supposed to be. Not what we think, but how nature or how life feels that it needs to be. We do not know everything. We do not know how everything has to be. Even today, with the political situation, with all the wars, with everything that's going on, nobody has the full answer. Only when coming together, we can find answers. And more importantly, we can find solutions. We can find new ways of interacting to bring more people together. And not just to join forces and fight the elite or the government or whatever. No, not that. Because it's exactly what they want. And then they can release the army on us and whatever. No. What we need is to come together and create a new reality for ourselves. That's why you see so many communities being built around the globe. People building villages little cities from scratch where everyone is on a similar wavelength, on a similar frequency, working together, cooperating together, living together. And this we need to do on global scale. But it starts with just the people around you, your neighbors, your colleagues, your friends, your family. And don't force it on people. Just be that energy of I'm open to join or to have people join me or to be with people like me who want unity, who want love, who want care. And these people just start to come. From many different directions. I'm telling you this from experience because I have been doing this. This is one of the reasons I live in this country. I moved away from the Netherlands, a super structured and organized country, also with a lot of corruption by the way. I moved to Romania, which some would call the, the most corrupt country in the EU. But on the other hand, here you can really ground. People here are more close to nature, close to the hearts. And so I've been surrounding me here with a lot of wonderful people. And I do not go to many events, but once a month I go to this business networking event and every month I meet at least one genuine person, one new genuine person that I can add to my network. A person with whom I can talk about life, about unity, about making a difference. It doesn't matter what our occupations are. Whatever we are, we can make a difference. And that is what is needed now making a difference, acting from here. And do not let what's happening in the world distract you from your path, from the path that you feel from here. And one, when you get distracted, just be aware of it, take a time out, take a break, breathe. And you'll probably see up here a link now to a video about this. I actually don't know if I already published it or not. Yeah, actually I actually did publish it. How three deep breaths transform my life. The act of th taking three deep breaths really transformed my life. And I would do it for three minutes, so taking more, more than three deep breaths really transformed my life. So I encourage you to watch that video. 
Link will be in the description. Now is the time to really act from love, from your heart and to look for people that you resonate with and ignore those that you do not resonate with. And it's not your job to wake up people actively. People may see you and start to realize something. But no need to go and try to shake up people because it will not work. Everyone will wake up when it's his time to wake up. For me, it took till the age of 40. Some people have it in their 80s. Some people never have it. Some people have it much younger. It depends what your soul set as path for you in this life. If you pay attention, if you surround yourself more with this kind of people, you will also start to see a lot of good things that are happening in the world. You will not see them in the usual mainstream media. You will see them in what like-minded people are sharing. Because there's a lot of good going on. And I encourage you to share these beautiful things, to share them on your social media. I know you have a social media account, otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video. You would have seen that I posted it. So I know you have one. So please do share good things. Make it a habit. Try to share at least once a week a beautiful thing. Write it down, record it, take a picture or share a post about it. That's your job. That's going to help people wake up. Those who are close to waking up will be triggered by your post and wake up. And those who criticize you, ignore them. This is how you can make a difference. I wish you a wonderful day and hope to see you in the next video. And of course, if you have questions, put them in the comments, send me a direct message. I may answer them in a video. If you want to learn how to calm yourself in these stressful times, and probably there is a lot going on in your life, contact me. I can work with you. I can teach you. I can guide you. I do sessions life coaching where i use many different techniques to to dig up where the wounds are to heal them while i'm teaching you also how you can do this by yourself the next time i do mentoring for people who just want to have a soundboard once a month to to just see where they are to have some accountability and some guidance some advices to keep moving I do channeling, I do family constellations in a one-on-one -on -one using pen and paper. So you do not need to gather a whole group of people. You don't need to stand in front of a group of people and start talking about your horrible experiences or deepest pains. No, I do it in a one-on-one. -on -one. I use the gene keys as a tool to help you get more clarity. There are many different things. And don't forget, asking for help is a sign of strength. The smartest people in the world always ask for help when they reach something or they need to do something that is not their expertise. They have often a mentor, maybe two. They have a coach or whatever they call it when they have specific difficulties to deal with. Elon Musk had it, Steve Jobs had it, Bill Gates had it. Yes, these are maybe not names you want to hear, but these are people who reached the top and they did that through help. No one reached the top on his own. No one had an amazing life just by being by himself. We all need support and we all have something to offer. 
in our unique way. This is also one of the things that can help you discover if you do not know what it is or you do not know how to translate in something doable. You can talk to me. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Like, like subscribe, subscribe share. share.